Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So today's topic of conversation is the Flash Pro. Now I'm gonna give you guys a breakdown of how we install it on a PC to how do we flash your car in the event that nobody really knows how or I get it, man. There could be some concerns there, right? It's your ECU, though you don't want to mess anything up. You don't want your car to mess up. So let's break it all down in today's video. All right, guys. So to go away from the more traditional way of doing this, I wanted to do this in a manner where you guys could see it clearly and not just me recording my laptop screen and trying to get that even to look remotely good. So no. So I'm doing this on my streaming setup. Yes, I do have a streaming setup. And this is typically where you'll catch me playing COD or any other like super scary video game. I, I haven't kept up with it as much just because I've been so busy with this channel. But if you guys wanna see more content, I'll put a link of my actual YouTube channel that's dedicated just to gaming. It's a vastly different personality. I guess you would say I'm, I'm super competitive. So you'd see that coming through anything I do on that side. But to stay more on par here and on focus, I wanted to guys just kind of showcase this so you guys can see it clearly here. Background, yes, Kobe Bean, RIP. He is my second favorite uh, basketball player in the world. Number one, obviously the GOAT, MJ. Let's open up a browser here. Let's go to hondata.com, which I believe is their URL. First thing you're gonna wanna do is look for downloads, right? We need to get, imagine this is your laptop, right? So you're gonna be doing this physically on your laptop. From what I've seen, you can't use Mac for this. Um, I do have a Mac, it's primarily what I use, especially for my editing. So you'll have to go out and get a Windows based PC. I haven't tried running like a VM or Fusion on it to see if that works, but in all likelihood, you'll just have to do Windows OS. I believe like a, a laptop could cost you anywhere from the two to $300 range, depending on, you know, the brand and whatnot. But that's pretty much all you would need is like a super basic laptop just to run, you know, this, uh, this software version. So we're going to go to their downloads. We're going to be looking for Flash Pro. So this is where you're going to be referencing whichever version you purchase, right? Did you get the, uh, the K manager? Did you get S manager? So on and so forth. So we're just gonna follow the prompt here. We'll go to download. So there's two versions here. Current, we'll go with the current version. We don't wanna go with anything outside of that. I want you guys to see this so that way you have a familiarity one, but then two, you're a bit more comfortable with it as well. So it says it's done. Do you wanna allow this lot to make changes to your dice? Yes, you do. Setup can check for software available from Honda's webpage. Click the button below to check for an update, obviously. Setup version is the most recent. Cool. We'll accept the license agreement, right? If you guys want to read it, you sign your life away. Next. Next. Where you want to store this, depending on where you guys want to do it, I'm just going to put it in its program files folder. No big deal. Vehicle support. What vehicles would you like to support? If I guess if we wanted to, we could just do Integra, right? I'll leave it for all of them. Just that's fine. Setup will create the program shortcuts in the following start menu. Cool. We'll create a desktop shortcut and install. And that'll bring us to installing it, guys. We'll let this do its thing. Done. I'm going to launch it. Here's what the app looks like. If you guys can see this on my screen, keep in mind, I did connect my Flash Pro to my PC. Just as an FYI, the Flash Pro firmware will be upgraded. Please unplug the Flash Pro from your vehicle. I guess I needed an upgrade. Look at that. You guys seen it, right? We used this two, maybe a, less than a month ago, right? It was like three weeks ago. So I guess it'd be, maybe I should check this weekly or, you know, bi-weekly. So it says here, calibrations stored on the Flash Pro are from a previous version of Flash Pro Manager. It is recommended to re-upload these calibrations with this software version in order to update them. Would you like to do this now? Yes. And we will let it do its thing. I'm actually glad this came up. That way you guys can see this in real time. From this menu, now we got this guy upgraded. You got pop-ups here, right? If you wanted to, if you had this connected to your car, you'd obviously see these kinds of things, right? Um, what we're looking to do is, and they're all up here, right? So if you want to see sensors, there's your sensors table. Uh, you want to display, I wish I would show it, but there's a graph. If you want to see a graph, um, do you have error codes? This is where this would come up. So a bunch of pop-ups for different things. Um, what we're interested in is a new calibration. As you can see, when you get a new calibration, you would select your vehicle model, right? I uploaded all of them. Might as well, right? Just in case. Maybe somebody, well, I don't think you can use this on somebody else's, right? So who knows? But um, from what I understand, I don't think you can use this on anybody else's ECU. I think it's just hard-coded to yours. But uh, we're going to go Integra Type S, right? D5, the vehicle. 
It's, there's two of them here, Mexico and U.S. So depending on where you reside at, we're in the U.S. Select calibration. So here's all the calibrations down here, right? You got uh, my factory settings, which is obviously stock, right, from the dealer. You have the Integra Type S DE5 US on 93 octane, which is what we run here in uh, the US and Chicago. Um, so number one is 91 octane. Then you got 91 octane with a downpipe intercooler, and that's it. Then you got another option here for a downpipe intercooler. If you were running the Honda fuel system and then flex fuel, and then you got, you know, uh, 91 with an RV6 upgraded turbo intercooler and a downpipe. From what I don't see, though, and which is, uh, let me see what this says here. This is flex fuel, 91 octane, Honda fuel system, no, 91 octane, flex fuel enabled, no, intercooler, 91 octane. So now this is the only thing that, I'm curious about because it doesn't, let's see, induction, turbocharged cams, no, intake, yeah, because it doesn't let you, even the filters themselves are not good, because in reality, with the one I really want is this guy, but I'm not running 91, I'm running 93, I wonder, I guess we could do a quick search to see if I can use that on my car, but it, it would be reading, we're trying to read 91 octane fuel, so I don't want to mess with it, but in any event, you would click on, uh, we'll do the 93 octane tune. So click OK. And then here's where you would select your modifications, right? You would say, I'm going to expand this actually just so you guys can see it better. This is where limits or things start getting tweaked with, right, from just the tune itself, right? Fuel system can boost. Uh, and this is, you can, you have the option to uncheck it if you'd like, right? Are you running stock injectors? Are you running Honda's, you know, 1330 or 1530 CCs? Do you want the pops and bangs, right? This would be just your standard stock ones. Do you want to go stage one, which is actually, I enjoy. Not everybody likes it. Um, rev hang, you could disable the rev hang. Rev limits, traction control, turbo, disable the, disable the EGT air reduction. This will increase boost. It certainly does that. And that's pretty much it. I guess we can click export here if we wanted to. But if, once you click OK or export, it would obviously modify my tune. So I wanted to do a recap of this before we go to the car itself, right? Just because we went through a lot of options, I understand it can get a bit confusing. But the we can exit out of this. We don't need that. So what I really want to highlight here is how this process works, because there is two ways to do this. You can export the file directly to your local laptop or whatever device you're working on locally, locally, meaning the device that you're working off of. That's just a term that we use in IT. If you guys didn't know, I'm also a computer engineer. So just letting you guys know that's a term that we use a lot in the field. Um, so whatever your local machine is, you can store it to, right? So if we go to new calibration, uh, we select whatever we want here, whatever the mic, the model and the vehicle is. Obviously, we're going to go 93, right? So we would select 93. It's going to populate all of these items that we've seen and we've gone through a bit of them. Like I said, I am not the master here. I am only going with the basics just to get me by until we get on the dyno. This is what they did when we went to the Honda event. I just figured it would be beneficial to show you guys because I didn't really see a lot of footage out there or a lot of videos that were highlighting this, nor specifically did I see any video to show you how to do it. So I figured, hey, maybe this would just be a good video to showcase what this does, how you do it, and then that way people can have a different level of comfort with it. One other item to highlight here as well, if you look down below, you see driver is highlighted with a green check mark. There's no Flash Pro connected. There's no OBD2 connected, no ECU. There's none of this is connected because I am not at my car yet. When I connect it to my car and then connect it to my laptop, this will all turn green, just so you guys know. Um, but we're going to leave these options. The only thing we're going to change here is pops and bangs, right? So it'll check that mark. It'll get rid of the check for... Uh, the stock pops and bang. You have the option to click export here. Like I said, if you click export, it's just going to export the file. It, I didn't see that it did anything there. Like it didn't upload it anywhere. It didn't ask me to upload anywhere. 
I'm sure there's an option here within file um, that I can upload and then we go from there, right? Because somebody could send you a different tune. But uh, if you want to export it, you would just export it, write whatever you want for author, right? Uh, Jon Snow, if you're a Game of Thrones fan. Description, whatever you want for description. You could put my tune or you could put my stock tune. Notes, any notes you want to include when you hit export, it's going to want to save it just so you guys know. So you would save it and then you could upload whatever you saved as a, you know, I already have one here, base map done. I'll cancel this. What you end up doing is you can close out of this. After you selected everything you want, you just hit okay. And then what ends up happening is you'll see when we go to the car, I'm just going to select what I want again. And it's going to, it always chooses the current calibration that I'm working on. So whatever you guys have selected here, once you hit OK, right? Once we select it, once we want, oh, yeah, we want all this. Everything's checked off of what we like. You hit OK. That would be the current calibration you're working in. So once it's connected to the card and you hit OK there, you'll see that this upload button is now available to click on. And once you're going to see when we get to the car is I'm going to select another calibration, same one we just worked on. I'm going to hit upload and then the car is going to go through its motion of flashing the ECU and doing everything that it needs to. So let's jump to the car right now. So that way you guys can see this in real time. And hopefully this helps you guys out moving down the road with anything you guys may want to do within Honda Auto Flash Pro. Like I said, I'm not the master. I can only get you guys this far, but at the very least, this was further than what I seen that was available on YouTube or in any doc that they had, right? Trying to follow the doc wasn't the greatest. I figured making a video would probably be the easiest way. If anybody that's out there like me, I'm a very visual learner. I'm not necessarily the guy that had, that can be in books. I need to physically do it and play around with it. So hopefully this guy's, you know, hopefully this helps you guys out. So we're back in the car here, guys. And what I wanted to show you guys what I did was after I had done a new calibration, I'm not going to save it, but what I ended up doing was just a 93 octane tune with the pops and bangs. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to go to upload. There's a little upload button. If you guys can see that here, we're going to click on upload. And now it is going to do its thing and we're just going to sit here. It usually takes anywhere from eight to 10 minutes. I believe the car is going to freak out and go crazy, but that's okay. And we'll just sit here and wait till it completes, but it's going to put me on a 93 octane tune with the stage one pops and bangs. All right. So we'll pick this up when it's done. The dash will probably freak out. Don't worry. It's just doing its thing. Um, and we'll go from there guys. All right. So we'll pick this back up when it completes. But before it does complete, well, here you go too, look. Now the, now all the things started coming up. And this is normal. This will happen. This is going to go through its functions. It's rewriting it. No big deal. And we'll wait. All right. I wanted you guys to see that, actually. I'm glad that that came up. So once this completes, we can turn it back on. Or actually, we'll turn the car off, turn it back on, and then we can go for a drive like we did at the Honda event. I guess also noteworthy too, right? This thing is going through everything. I'm not sure if at the event they selected a 91 octane tune or they selected a 93. I was, I looked up some other videos of people in California. They did 91 octane. I wasn't sure if they did 91 here in Chicago. We obviously use 93. So I, I'm not sure. I'm flashing it out a 93 though. I don't want to run that risk, especially if it can cause any kind of harm. I don't know enough about octane and fuels to do that, but I just want to go by the guidelines as specified by, you know, the user manual and obviously what it states on the gasoline cap. So just FYI guys. All right. All right, guys. So it just finished here. I was trying to grab the window where it said you got to shut off your engine. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to turn off the engine completely. As you guys can see. The Acura is now off. Now what we will do is turn it back on and everything should go away. Check engine lights blinking and it is gone now. So what we can do is unplug this. We'll right back down here. We'll unplug the flash pro and we'll start the car just so you guys can see it. All right.
And here we go, guys. And that's it. And that's it. So that's literally how you flash your car. That simple. And as you guys can see, I'll show you here, no lights. Everything's gone. Everything's gone and working as expected. And I can still go through all my modes, Sport, Sport Plus. You guys can hear it. All right, so just to cover this as well, we did install the front pipe. I'm gonna include a little snippet of what I got. I wasn't able to get too much guys uh, taking it to a local shop. I didn't want to kind of be all up in their face. I know that that kind of can be annoying one, but then two, if somebody's not used to the camera, doesn't want it around them or in their face, I get it. So I wanted to respect that. And then number two, they also did have, you know, writing that I couldn't be within the shop. So I tried to get as much as I could with where I was positioned at. So we'll leave it at that. So here's the video of that. So we are here at New Windy City Mufflers and Brakes, and we are on the corner of Irving Park and Harding. shop is right on the corner right here so i told you guys i was gonna have to bring it in here's where we're at but like i had said earlier right guys my arm is kind of thrashed i don't want to take any chances on doing anything and injuring my right arm any further so i'm gonna try and record as much of this process as i possibly can not guaranteed i can get very much um but we'll see uh the guys seem pretty impressed by the car and when they actually put it on the lift they were looking around to see what else i had on it um they thought the exhaust was aftermarket I let them know that that was actually stock and that's how, you know, Type S's and Type R's come from the dealer or from the factory, I should say. But I'm going to see if I can get my head back in there, peek around a bit and record as much as I can, all right? Now that the front pipe is installed, we can go straight for the dyno. And we're gonna have to because I don't wanna necessarily keep running the car on this tune. I want it to be 100% dialed in and where it should be at, not just power wise, but you know, with the engine itself, right? I want everything to be tuned correctly and everything flowing and working as nicely as it should be. So stay tuned for that. It's gonna be coming. I'm gonna be setting up the appointment tomorrow to see exactly what availability they have down at uh, Rudd's Racing to get this guy on the dyno and get this thing fully tuned. Lastly, I did order some more parts. So there are some more things coming in. We've done everything we can except for two items in the engine, right? Fuel, which would be the injectors, a new fuel pump, and a bigger turbo. Will I do that now? Probably not. I kinda wanna hold off on that one just a little later on, right? Maybe. This is gonna be, we're in year one now of owning this car. Maybe year two we do that just because we're close to avoiding everything on the warranty, right? Even though who knows what happens after you tune it, right? But, or after you flash it. Um, but I kind of just want to wait. I don't want to blow up the motor just yet. Um, but we do have more parts coming and that is more concentrated on everything on the exterior, right? I'm not gonna say exactly what it is, but we're gonna be focusing now on how the car looks, not on how it performs anymore. We, don't, we won't need to after the dyno, right? We should hopefully get 400 plus horsepower out of this guy. Now, with that being said, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope this was helpful in terms of using the Flash Pro. Like I said, I know it could be a little daunting or it could be very scary, right? If you don't know what you're doing or you've never been behind that kind of thing, like I haven't, well, that's how you learn, right? Hopefully that this comes in handy for anybody that is gonna flash their car or feels like they wanna go back to stock or they wanted to go, you know, the stage two pops and bangs as opposed to stage one. Well, now you guys know how to kind of do those things. All right, so we'll end it here. I'll see you guys next week when we pick this back up. Get ready because those parts should be arriving this week as well. I'm super stoked about them. One of them in particular is absolutely beautiful and I'm waiting on confirmation about another piece just to make sure that it fits properly on this car. So get ready. We're going to start gearing up now for Tuner Evo, which I, I, I don't know when the date is. It was, it's in August and I get an email saying that it's in September. Then I get another email or another notification saying it's in August. So I'm going to have to reach out to their team. But 
Tunor Evo is the next big show and there's a lot of things that are gonna happen with this guy before we get over there guys all right so I'll leave it at that hope you guys enjoyed the video as always don't forget to like subscribe and comment I know cliche everybody on every YouTube you see says it but it does really help out and it helps push the video out you know with YouTube's algorithm so that I continue to grow always appreciate all the support from you guys it's all love and I am really really happy for where we've gotten so far now we just got to go to the next level right so as always go hello take it easy because I'm out.